Sometimes poop happens. Um, that's a fact of life. What goes in must come back out, and that's true of your turtles and tortoises and all reptiles and animals. And I get so many questions about how do you clean your habitat, what kind of substrate do you use? So I'm gonna show you how I clean some of my babies, some of my outdoor habitats, and finally the big boys. And uh, we're gonna look at poop from little turds to big turds. We'll see you in a little bit. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Tenor. All right, so here we are hanging out, and this is the nursery. We got a ZooMed tortoise house, which is what I think a lot of you guys should be using if you're not using a tortoise table. Uh, it's great for, for the young turtles and tortoises, uh, terrestrial species. I have some sulcatas in here, but let's check this out. I'm gonna open it up, and I'm just gonna give you an idea. I threw a little Missouri in here. I had soaked it and threw some Missouri in here. So the first thing I like to do is to grab any uneaten food. This was a little mango. So I'm gonna just go ahead and place that on the top, and then some uh, mulberry leaves that weren't eaten. This, this stuff can't really hurt them because uh, it just dries and breaks down. But if you want to do something indoors, you want to keep it nice and clean. Now, as far as the little poops here, these guys, um, their poo is so small, it's hard to see. So it takes a long time before it actually becomes a problem. But what I like to do, and what you can do, as long as there's no terrible odors, if you're doing this indoors, uh, as long as there's no terrible odors, you just take the water out, right? I'm gonna dump that out right quick. And then we move the little booger here, little sulcata baby. And here's a little guy over here as well. And the substrate I used here is actually like a little bit of an eco earth mixed with some potting soil. So it's got a little coconut fiber, it's got some bark chips. I mixed it all together and you notice how it's dry, right? This is the sulcata, so it's a little bit drier. Watch this, come here and check this out. So I just scraped it off. You can see how there's some moisture on the inside. That's great. I love that. You want that to happen, especially for sulcatas. You want the outside to be dry, but there to be moisture on the inside. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just mix this all up. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up because this helps kind of put all the poo and stuff, mix it around. It'll break down. And since they're eating plants, as like I said, as long as it's not smelling, if you're indoors and it doesn't smell so horrible, just give it a good mix. Turn the soil up and around and this fluffs it up and we'll allow it to decompose nicely and you get some fresh stuff on the top and we'll just kind of do that and I smooth it on over and so you just leave the poop in the whole time. I, I can leave the poop in especially outdoors if you can't actually see the poo uh, it's been it's being broken down and since this is outdoors right now we do have little bugs that will eat the poo and break it down um, so inside it's gonna be a little different you want to spot clean if this started to smell or get drenched always wet sopping wet I'd pull it out probably once after about every two months, uh, depending on how many turtles or tortoises you're keeping in here. Uh, if you're keeping more than three or four tortoises in an enclosure this big, you're gonna wanna pull it out probably once a month and get some fresh substrate. And this substrate, like I said, is the Eco Earth mixed with some organic potting soil because that potting soil, see how it gets down here? It really holds moisture, which I like because as we know, tortoises like to dig down to microclimates to find that moisture. So look, I'm just fluffing it moving it around it mixes everything together it's still clean I'm gonna make a little divot right here all right and I'm gonna put the uh, water dish back in and I gently smooth out the soil and we're just creating a nice easy water dish for these baby tortoises to get in and out of I'm gonna leave you for one second don't go anywhere stay right there look at what's going on because I'm coming back with a little water jug and I'm gonna just go ahead and pour the water jug in fill it up to the brim now they got some fresh water don't worry about a little bit of dirt in there it's not gonna hurt them uh, not at all so this one's now done so what I do is I just take the old food and normally guys I feed on a um, I feed on a plate but I was lazy yesterday to be perfectly honest sometimes it happens so I fed them I just threw some food in but I'm gonna take this food and I feed my ferns that's all I do I just feed the fern so it'll continue to break down little bugs and insects will eat that no worries we'll come back over here I'm just gonna pull out the food um, you know this one looks good this one stays a little bit more moist okay I just put, filled this water up it stays a little bit more moist because we have the red foots and the elongateds in this one so I don't want it to get too dry so I'm just pulling that out I'm gonna do the same thing with this 
put this, I'm actually going to put this in a little cup. It'll just be easier for me to throw it out. All right, so let's go in here. We've got a little bit of cactus, which is not going to hurt them, but I'm going to pull out some of the really sopping wet stuff because these are sulcatas, so I don't want these guys to be too wet. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this little guy, and I'm going to turn this over because what's happened is we had a little bit of rain. See how wet it is here? See how wet that is? That's way too wet for these guys. So I'm going to move it and move it around, get the wet stuff up top, and in this nice Florida sun, it's going to dry out real quick. So I'm giving it a good fluff. We're moving it around. We had a little bit of a rainstorm these guys got in, so it's a little bit too moist. But now that I've moved the wet stuff to the top, I'm able to keep these guys from getting too moist, which is a problem with some of our desert species. You don't want them to get too moist. All right, so that's how I do controlled cages like this, right? But now let's go see some of my natural uh, enclosures and uh, I'll meet you over there, okay? So uh, there'll be some kind of transition and magically, I'll be over there. Okay, so here's why I like outdoor enclosures. With earthen substrate, that means just planet Earth. It's so much easier to take care of your animals because you don't have to waste a lot of time doing what we just did. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna have a look and I'll show you what the poop of a monkey tail skink looks like. I also have Darth Maul's babies in here. We are at high noon, so all the reptiles are kind of hiding right now in the shade. Uh, we'll still see some over here, but come on down. I'm gonna step in and we're both gonna get low because you know what? Poop goes down. So here it is, look at this. Here's some monkey tail scat. There it is. I mean, as I see this, I'll just pull it out. But the reality is, is that little bugs are gonna eat this up. So I'll just place some out there. Here's another one. Believe it or not, that's actually poo with some rock on it. Pull out any, this is from lumber, I didn't notice. So I'm gonna pull out anything I don't want in here. Uh, let's see if there, oh, here's something. Here's one of the mall kids. It's one of Darth, Maul, Darth Maul's babies. How pretty is that? We get a little extra visit from a beautiful baby cherry head tortoise. Oh, and here they, they all come out when they see me. Here's another one. How great is that? So these little guys, their poo is so small. It ain't even noticeable. And the little bugs get it. It's the monkey tail skink who's over in this corner who's got the, uh, the real poos that we're gonna pull out. But that's it, guys. You know, and like a guy like Slinky, um, let's step on out. Watch your head when you're walking out. Good man, Tom. But as far as these guys, like Slinky, the Cuban iguanas, all that, I mean, I rarely have to do anything. Hold on. Excuse me. Um, thank you, thank you. I just toss it right out. That's it, man. Game over. So I make it easy. Now, if I were to come in here and maybe I had some food that Slinky knocked over or if there's some poo, I'll just rake it all up once a month. It's that easy. Right over here, same thing with Petro. Hey, Petro, what you doing, buddy? You want some food, don't you? Did my rhino go on this? They're awesome. But let me show you how I deal with poop from full-size sulcata tortoises. We're going to go that way right now. This is actually going to be involved, and I need a couple things. First thing I need to get is my dust masks. I got these set up earlier. Oh, shucks, I broke it. Let me get another one. Just a dust mask. Very important. Cheap. And you'll see why in a second. Uh, then I have to come over here. And I have to get my wheelbarrow. A little cart, if you will. Oh. Uh, let's get this all situated. Because this, this, this actually sucks. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is some hard work, people. But you gotta have your hat. I got my pitchfork. I got my cart. You liking this? Look like some kind of half-assed bane. Mr. Wood! We're not gonna stand on ceremony here. I love <laughs> Batman. All right. <laughs> Sorry, dude. This has cost you your strength. Victory has defeated you. <laughs> That's funny. I hope you guys like the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, for crying out loud. I opened this the wrong way. It gets so frustrating in the summer. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. <laughs> Where? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The trials and tribulations. Can you shut the gate behind you? Well, there, you know, I'm trying to roll Can at you the same just shut time. The gate? You know, all right, I got, all right. I got animals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're making a break for it, dude. Okay. See this? 
So just break it. Break oh, it. there you go. She's of course she's gonna park it right here. Come on, young lady. I know you're hungry, but I need to get in. See, this is where you know it's kind of work, people. All right, so I don't like these guys to always be in their poop, so I get in here. It's gonna go from light to dark. Here we go. And um, I have to rake all this out. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna rake, Tom's gonna film. We're gonna cut together a fun little montage of me raking poop and I'll see you when I'm done and that wheelbarrow is full. You guys having fun? You guys want a tortoise farm? This is what you gotta do. You too will be raking copious amounts of animal weight. So the reason for the dust mask is some of the dry stuff. You don't want that getting in your nose or getting in your lungs. You can get bronchitis. It's waste. So you got to be careful. Why don't I have a mask on? Because you're not in here. You don't care about my health. I don't care about your health. I'll film. You can race. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Sure. <laughs> I'd like to actually pour a cement floor to this. It'd be so much easier to rake. But alas, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. This girl's gotta go. Excuse me, young lady, pardon me, thank you. So how often do you do this? I actually do, should have done this. I do this once a week, but I've been slacking and this guy has been done in about two weeks. Lots of poop accumulates. And the stuff that's in the yard, you just leave? The stuff that's in the yard, I leave. But I'm gonna show you what I do with all this. Everything has a purpose, and the circle of life is very important. So, you'll see in just a moment after I get all this raked up. Excuse me, young lady. Can you please leave here? I need you to go. All you guys. You too, come on. Let's go, let's go. And here's what poop looks like when it's fresh. Ugh. Big, giant, tortoise, sulcata tortoise turd. See that? <sighs> Look at this. Oh yeah, that's good, healthy poo. It's just the fibers and waste of the plant. Would you like some? No. All right, next up, move Lumpy and start cleaning up, picking it all up. I mean, you know, but these are the realities, people. These are the realities of keeping animals. Come on, Lump. Come on, buddy. Go. Ugh. Come on, number seven. That's her name. Lucky number seven. Come on, girl. All right, here we go. It's a big old cart. All right, I guess Tom's gonna do some speeding up. Ugh. What? Dust. Well, should be wearing a mask. This is why I tell everybody, when you buy a sulcata, know what you're getting into because if you keep more than one and you want to do it right, you're going to be cleaning just like I am right now. And like I said, this has to be done once a week. I've been slacking because I knew we were making this video. All right. Now I get to wheel this in. Okay. That is one big pile of poo. And um, this is the final stage in what I need to do. So I thought I'd show it to you. Just chuck this over here. But this is the final resting place for all the tortoise turds when I rake them out. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to help out Camp Kennan, go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. <laughs> uh, if you guys each donate me a buck, I'll be able to get a new pitchfork. This thing's wobbling. I gotta get a new pitchfork. But uh, you know what's cool about the Patreon, folks, is you guys can actually 
uh, get stuff from us. So we're giving you autographs, we're giving you t-shirts, depending on what you pledge, you're going to be able to get some really cool can Canon swag and you're helping the channel. But anyway, let's finish with this. So what I like to do is I like to, as you know, I feed a lot of natural foods. What makes them grow? Poop, everybody. Yes, tortoise poop turns out to be a cactus's best friend. And so I like to go ahead and just spread it, spread the wealth a little bit. Uh, there's some more. I just lay it right on. And when it rains, it creates a really nice manure tea on these guys. And that all gets down. You can see the old poop right down there. See, that's some old stuff. And it's good. It's recycling. It's uh, healthy for the plants. And it is a circle of life. Tortoises eat the plants. Plants go through the alimentary canal, through the digestive system. It gets broken down, gets to feed the tortoise. They poop it out, and I feed then these guys themselves back to each other. That's amazing. It's a perpetual poop machine. All right, everybody, you have learned what I do with my poop. Hey, in the comments below, let me know what you do with yours. Maybe we'll all learn something, all right? Just remember, wash your hands afterwards and uh, be kind to your tortoises. Clean them regularly, because no one wants to live in their own filth. See you guys, I got a lot more work to do. Uh.